Hi everyone. I received some good feedback on my recent ESP8266 video, link in the description below, and so I thought I'd do a quick follow-up looking at how we can configure the slip router settings from the Amiga end with Telnet. Let's take a look. Hello and welcome to Spellbound, I'm your host 32bits and today we're going to be looking at configuring the slip router connection settings on the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module that we installed last time but this time we'll be doing it from the Amiga end using Telnet from there. So why would you want or need to do this anyway? Well, you could use this method when doing the initial setup but I prefer to configure the Wi-Fi settings on the module on the same Linux machine that I use to flash the firmware because I find it more convenient. And if something goes wrong, it's easier for me to troubleshoot. But once the module is installed and working, this is the way I update the Wi-Fi password on the CD32 from Workbench so I don't have to pull the module out and put it back in the Linux machine. To configure or reconfigure the Wi-Fi settings on the module from the Amiga, we're going to need a Telnet client. The one I found that works well for me is DC Telnet because I'm already on the internet, I can just download it from Aminet. But if you're configuring the module for the first time, you'll need to copy the LHA archive from Aminet to a CD and copy it to your hard drive and install it from there. The first time you run the application, they have to pick a screen size. I use PAL high res. Now that we have DC Telnet installed and running, we'll need to do a bit of configuration to set up the connection to the module. First, click options and make sure to select local loopback as well as CR and LF. The first, allows us to see what we're typing by echoing the typed characters back to the display. The second ensures that the cursor will be on a new line when we hit return by inserting a line feed after the return. Okay, now we need to add our ESP8266 to our address book. You could just connect to it directly, but saving it to our address book will make it very easy to change settings like the Wi-Fi password at a later date. Enter a name for the entry. I used ESP8266, but this entry is completely up to you. Now, enter the IP address for the router and 7777 in the port field. Be sure to hit enter after each entry or the values won't save. Now, when we want to change the Wi-Fi information for our CD32, like the password or SSID, we can just open this link and enter the five commands we used to set up the Wi-Fi from the Telnet session on Linux. They are set SSID, set password, set use underscore AP0, save, and then reset. After a bit, you'll see a disconnection notice. I like to reconnect just to make sure the module reset correctly. And that's it. You can now change your Wi-Fi password setting from Workbench by using DC Telnet. Again, you can also use this method to do the initial setup. I hope you found this helpful and interesting. If you did, please make sure to click the like button. If you're not already, please subscribe. And either way, please share this video with anyone you think might find it useful. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. And as always, all the best.